Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today is another scroll wow 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 box. <laughs> I do the scroll box. So if you've never heard of Scrawler Box before, Scrawler Box is an art subscription box that is sent to your door every single month. That means subscription art supplies. So that means every month you get some different supplies that you've heard about or you've never ever heard about or some supplies that you have been dying to try or some that you've already used before and you're like, oh my gosh, I've got another, yay! So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in this month's box. Ooh. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Oh, we've got some magic bottles. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. Open it up. Open it up. I never open this up correctly. Oh my goodness. Look at, oh my gosh, what is that? We got Pop Rocks, woo! So the first two things that Scrawler Box sends to us in this box happens to be this cute little print that has all these magical bottles on it of all these little itty bitty critters. And then they also send us a bookmark that has all the art supplies that are given to us in this particular box. So we can look at names and what they do or instructions. What are these? <gasps> So the first thing we have are these two Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens. <gasps> Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be writing with these forever. <gasps> Look at that, I'm so excited. And now we get a Koai Noor Magic Pencil. And so that means that the tip of this pencil, these three colors are going to be so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And then they give us a Pilot V five high tech point. Oh, I love these pens. I love writing with them and I love lining with them if I can. Pure liquid ink. And then they give us a wink of Luna by Curatake and it's met green. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's metallic green. It's gonna be sparkly. And Scrawler Box is really nice that they go ahead and send us two pieces of paper. We've got a white piece and then we've got a black piece. So it's really nice of them to go ahead and send us that. Now my favorite part about Scrawler Box is what comes on the back of the bookmark. And on the back of the bookmark, the, is the Scrawler Challenge. Now the Scrawler Challenge is a challenge where they challenge you to only take the art supplies that were given to you in this box and to make a piece inspired by their prompt, which their prompt happens to be Magic Potions. <laughs> ah, so that's why we have this print right here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and I'm gonna show you how I interpret Magic potions only using the art supplies that were given to me in this box. So let's go ahead and jump into a timeline. Alrighty then, so what I wanted to do first was go ahead and swatch every single one of these awesome supplies out. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these gel pens. They're so pretty and they're unbelievably sparkly and look how awesome they look on black and white paper. I am absolutely in love. I mean, oh my goodness, and blue is already my favorite color, and the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens are a dream to work with. So then I went ahead and I moved on to the Curatake Wink of Luna brush, which is metallic green, and it took a while to get it flowing down to the bottom of the pen because you have to open it up and it's brand new, and it's a really pretty green. It's a really deep evergreen, and it looks really, really cool on black paper and white paper, but I think it looks cooler on the white, I mean the black paper as opposed to the white. And then I went ahead and I used the Koai Noor Magic Pencil. I like the Koai Noor Magic Pencil. I just, when I was thinking about my idea while I was swatching these out, I couldn't really figure out a way to use the Koai Noor Pencil because it didn't really fit with the theme I wanted to do with this scrawler challenge. So the swatching of the Koi Noir Magic Pencil is unfortunately the only time you're going to see me use it throughout this scrawler challenge. All right, so I didn't get any sketching supplies in this particular box and they usually do send sketching supplies. So instead I went ahead and grabbed my color race blue pencil and my sketchbook because I thought this is gonna be look, this is gonna look really cute in my sketchbook. So I went ahead and I started sketching everything out. So I started with my bottles and I just recently did a piece with magical bottles. If you guys watched my redraw thing, I just did a video with magical bottles. So I thought, okay, I can't be too similar to this one. Um, so I went ahead and I 
thought of the idea, what if these scavengers or treasure hunters were looking for these ginormant, ginormant, <laughs> these ginormous bottles and they were looking and they, I don't want them to look like borrowers. I just, I don't know. I got like a magic school bus kind of vibe with this idea and I just thought, well, what if these, um, this couple went ahead and was like a scavenger couple and let me say I did do the little bit of a galaxy technique with the bottle that she's standing in front of and They were they mixed very well together the Pentel um, Gel pens definitely mixed well together and they make a nice galaxy But at the same time, I think that they are better off to be alone than put together just because they're both so beautiful and have so many tints to each one of their gel like wonderfulnesses <laughs> and they're so sparkly i love sparkles you see my nails every other week and you see how sparkly that they are all the time i love sparkles and i love glitter and that's what these gel pins are for and i'm so happy <laughs> that scroller box gave them to me because i am so in love i'm gonna use them on everything and so for so i wanted to go ahead and give like a little grappling hook because you guys these people our scavenger treasure hunters so I went ahead and I gave him a grappling hook and he wanted to get to the top of the bottle while the girl is just kind of looking up at this other bottle and totally mesmerized that they found these ginormous magical bottles all right so let's talk about this Curtake wink of luna brush that's metallic green when I was putting it on the middle bottle it's beautiful it's a really awesome color and I thought that maybe I could kind of shade with the blue Pentel gel pen it's, it didn't work. I, I think this has happened before where I've had this similar... I think I've had the Curatake Wink of Luna brush before and it soaks up anything that you put on top of it. So there was no way to shade it. I was trying to shade it and there was absolutely no way that I was taking that. And the same with the Pentel gel pens. I couldn't go in with the Pilot V5 High Tech Point and I couldn't go in and I couldn't shade or do some cross hatching on that. And it just wasn't working so I went back over it and I just said oh forget it and but let me talk about the pilot pen oh my goodness it's a really awesome pen to do cross hashing with the only problem that I had with it is of course I think every artist has this problem and it's my fault and not the pen's fault you just have to realize when you're working with this pure ink that it's probably not going to dry as fast so there was a point where I dragged my hand over the ink and it smudged but that's my problem I should have known better but sometimes I have pens that dry so fast that I don't have to worry about the ink and when I draw drag my hand across other than that that only happened once but yes guys this was a lot of fun thank you scholar box for sending me this wonderful box of so many awesome art supplies I gotta say the pencil hybrid dual metallic gel pens were by far my favorite I'm so happy I found them I'm so happy that scholar box sent them to me or, like I said, I would have never found them. Anyways, if you want to get your own scrawler box, make sure you look in the info box down below so you can get your own subscription. I'm going to put the link to their website, and I'm also going to put it right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a most wonderful day. What do you think that these bottles are holding? Leave in the comments down below. I don't know. Maybe it's a galactic magical spell. But what do you think the middle one is? I mean, the other two look like galaxies in a bottle. But what about the middle one? What do you think is inside? Leave in the comments down below. I hope you all will check out Scrawlerbox. And I hope you will have a most wonderful day. 